Coach Romano. Uh, it's Florida Coaches Convention. Florida. Yeah. A little different than Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, right. A little different. Well, I, I was at the very first convention, and, I, and I've probably been to maybe 22, 23 conventions, and I think the first one was in the early 90s. I remember back in 95, it was in Atlanta in conjunction with the World's Championships, but there was conventions uh, before that, and I think the first one was, I might be wrong in this, but the Pocono Mountains, I remember that being one of the first ones, early 90s. So I've been coming every year, except uh, a couple of years. So this is yeah. to bring coaches together, to yes. network, to do all types of things. Yes. Um, and looking yes. at it, they always try and up their game here, and they're always yes. trying to foster young coaches and yes. mentor, mentorship programs. You've been in the game as long as anybody who's at yeah. this convention. Um, yeah. Congratulations on another national title Thank this you. year. Thank you. Um, Notre Dame College, yeah. Division II champs, uh, two out of the last four years. Uh, yeah, we won, uh, we won four titles in D2, two, two team titles and two dual meet championships in the last five years. That's pretty and good. So, uh, and then we won four. We won four NAI titles, two team titles, and two national Lumi titles. And then we also won the club one year. And we were in the club in 2012. We won that too. So we won nine titles. Your master recruiter leaves and goes to Ohio State. Yes. Everybody thinks that the the, the the roof's going to fall and cave in. Well, we won you guys won another title. <laughs> So who's really you know, pulling the, the strings well, over there? You no, know, I've been doing this a long time, and uh, you know, and I'm my new uh, head assistant, Jake Schwartz, has done a great job recruiting. A West Coast guy yeah, comes to Northeast yeah. Ohio, and yeah. that He's that blows my mind. He's from the state of Washington, and we recruited him to be our grad assistant three years ago, four years ago now, and he did a great job being our GA, and and then Jake was done with his master's degree, and, and he was going to leave, and I said, I, you know, it's a great kid, and. Uh, and I said, Jake, I said, I, said, uh, I don't want you leaving. I said, we're going to find you a job here. So there were no openings for our coaching, but we found him a job with the college as an admissions director. And then within a couple months, uh, Coach Ralph went to Ohio State and immediately hired Jake. And, and uh, I don't regret it one bit. Uh, he's done a great job. And we just kept moving. We, he didn't come on board until the middle or late November of this year. So, uh, you know, and we had some, some things that happened, like all teams, you know, with injuries and sickness and a whole bunch of other stuff. And then, but we pulled it together. We won the regional by a, a large, a large margin, and we won the national tournament by I think 35, 40 points. So, you know, looking at it, you guys keep losing these top. You know, you lose Anthony. Yeah. You, first off, you lose Joey Davis. Yeah. You don't lose him, but he graduates. Four-time champ. He's four-time champ. Yeah, so um, a lot of points. You, 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 you know, the guy graduates in the program. Anthony yes. goes to Ohio State. Yes. Okay. Now you go, lose a guy, a national champ, to transfer yes. to Nebraska. Isaiah White. Isaiah White. Um, yeah. How do you guys keep reloading and keep doing? Well, it? We, we we do. The recruiting is the lifeblood, as any coach knows of any wrestling team, and we just keep stress. Like we're still recruiting now. We just we just got a verbal from um, from Lamar, uh, Lamar, Lamar uh, Williams. Williams, Williams, and so you guys keep getting. Just, yeah, you keep, we just signed just, a guy just two days ago. So you just keep getting guys. You keep reloading. Reloading. Uh, in looking at it, you talk about recruiting as the lifeblood. We're here at the coaches' convention. Yes. They actually brought a, a recruiting event here, yes. uh, Compound College Combine. That's, that's big. You actually get to go and recruit guys today. What's yeah. that mean to you to actually be able to go and see high school kids here at the coaches' convention? Mix mentorship in yeah. with advancing the sport. Right. You guys are trying to win another national title. What's it like to be able to go watch? It's that? really, it's really important because uh, you have to be recruiting all the time. I mean, in today's world with the social media the way it is, it's no downtime. Years ago when I would recruit, when I was at Kent State in the early 80s and mid 80s, um, you know, it would be like a certain defined period you would recruit. Today, it's it's pretty much year round. Because you're, and you're recruiting juniors, sometimes you're even looking at, you know, people younger than that. And, um, and you have to stay up with it. And there's so many ways that people do it today as opposed to just being on the phone or sitting in a gym and watching someone wrestle, which I did a lot of. And today, you don't, you know, you have the internet and you have all the social media, so it's, it's different and it's more time consuming, way more time consuming. Can you win again without uh, Isaiah going? Can yeah, you win gonna without? Yeah, they have to him? deal with us next year. We had eight people back from the ten that were in the national tournament, but you know, really seven when we lose Isaiah. Uh, but we have people, and uh, I feel real confident in our team. I think, I think we have seven kids on the team that have been all Americans. And we have a returning national champion, Ivan McClay, at 25. We have the re two returning runners up, um, Juwan Edmond and uh, our heavyweight uh, Cameron Teacher. They were both second. They're both young. Uh, the only senior we have on the team is Ivan McClay. 
It's a national champ. It's a national champ. That's yeah. pretty good, Coach. Yeah. yeah. He's okay. A champ. Next question. He's an Ohio, Ohio kid. He's, Ohio kid. he's a Canton guy. Maslin. Uh, Maslin. Maslin. He's the only person in the history of Maslin High School who was state champ. Washington, actually. Maslin, Washington. Maslin Senior, Washington. Yeah, the Tigers. Yes. They've had movies made about him in yes. football. Football is yes. their game. He's okay. the only one. Do you age? Doesn't look uh, like it. Well, I don't you look know like the same that. guy who coached me 20 years ago. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, I try to stay in shape as best I can uh, because I think in, the, in our sport, you know, it's a young man's game and you have to be viable. And if you're not viable, it's really hard. And But you have to have good staff around you, and I do. I have really good staff. We have the best staff now we've ever had. I have seven people on my staff. I have uh, an intern, a grad assistant, uh, four assistant coaches. Two of them full time. Sonny, Sonny Marchetti, Sonny Marchetti, and Jake Schwartz. So those, do those guys run most of the day to day operations? Would you uh, say? Yeah, they, they run the nuts and bolts. I run practice. Okay. Uh, that's my gig. I run practice. I, I dictate practice. I run practice. And if I can't do that, then you know that's that's my gig. That's what I do. And then I make the decisions. And if it comes to me and I have to make a decision, I make the decision. But but uh, everybody has a duty. Everybody has things that they're in charge of. And and. As long as they're doing that, we're functioning. Because, you know, we have over 50 kids on the team. We have probably maybe close to 60 coming out this year. We had uh, 32 people coming back, and we recruited probably about, probably about between 25 and 27 new people coming in. So we have a large squad, so there's a lot of logistics involved. There's equipment involved, there's travel. I do travel, I do run practice, uh, you know, and decide, you know, what the, what the, uh, you know, the program's going to be in two days before a match, the day we leave, all the logistics. Cool. Because, like, say, a major tournament, we go two, two days before. We don't go the day before gotcha. to the national duels or to a national tournament. You go two days before, and we have to set up workout times in different places. And, you know, there's a lot of logistics involved, you know. And, but the practice is key. That's key in how to train the guys so they're ready at the appropriate time. We usually try to peak for the national duels and for the national team tournament and the, the regional tournament in D2 there's a regional tournament and then for the national tournament so that's basically my gig. All right coach well hey thanks for the time we'll see you over yeah. here at noon. Yeah, that'd be great and yes, uh, hopefully we will see another NCAA yeah. team title brought back no, to Ohio. We'll and, and it's going to be in Cleveland next year. In, in division uh, okay in the next two years all three divisions are in Cleveland. Division one's in Cleveland this year at the Q. Division two's in Cleveland next year at the uh, Wolstein Center and Division Three is this year at the uh, at the Civic Auditorium in Cleveland. So all three divisions within the next two years are in Cleveland, which is kind of.